My name is Landry Wilkinson. I'm a sales account manager here at Sound Productions and I've been here for a little over two years now. So the first three questions that should immediately come to mind are what is my bandwidth, what is my budget, and where am I going to put it? If you don't have the bandwidth, you're not going to be able to stream out a lot. So make sure you have the network backbone to ensure a good video stream. Next is what is my budget? You can start a video package at about three or five thousand dollars and that gives you everything you need. And then lastly, where are you going to put it? Whether you need to use a computer or an encoder, uh, that all solely depends on where it's going to go in your facility. Obviously you're going to need a camera. So going back to where am I going to put it, you have a couple options. You have a static, which is going to be something like a DSLR, a camcorder, broadcast camera, something of that nature, or a PTZ, which is a pan tilt zoom camera. Determining where you're going to put it determines what camera you're going to need. After that, a camera controller if you're going with a PTZ, and then a video switcher and a solid audio interface. You can run that to a computer and you have a solid stream already going. So there's actually two rookie mistakes that I see a lot of. First of all, bandwidth. A lot of people like to use Wi-Fi because, I mean, obviously not everybody can afford to go buy a new desktop. But make sure you are using a wired connection. Wi-Fi is built to transmit gigabits of data, but it's intermittent. So when you're watching a video on Netflix or YouTube, that's actually buffering as you're watching it. So it's not steadily loading as it's going, it's actually loading, stopping, and then loading some more. When you're doing live stream, you can't have that because when that intermittent signal drops, it just drops, you lose it. So having a wired connection provides better reliability on the stream as well as a higher output of data so you can have a little bit better quality stream. The other rookie mistake that I see is 4K. Everyone wants the highest quality, but you don't always need 4K. About the only places that can actually stream 4K are TV studios. Uh, they're the only ones that really have the bandwidth to be able to stream that amount of data. If you're streaming to Facebook, YouTube, uh, pretty much any social network, they're actually buffering it at 720 as it's coming in and then they'll re-upload it at 1080. So it's never going to be 4K on the other side. I know I've said it multiple times, Bandwidth, do the network. If you're using a network that's only doing 250 megabytes per second, well, you have to keep in mind, not only are you using that for your stream, you also have, if you're a church, you have congregants that are using the network for uh, youth classrooms. If you're a school, you have classrooms that are doing video and TV or whatever there. Making sure you have the bandwidth to be able to accommodate their video stream along with everything else on the, on the network. So that network should be a primary upgrade. After that, it's again, what features do you need? If you're interested in learning more about live streaming products or solutions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-203-5611 and one of our skilled account managers can help you with any setup you might need. Or visit our website at soundpro.com and check out all the cool products that we have to offer.